I just got two of the strangest, creepiest, weirdest fish you guys will ever see for none other than the outdoor saltwater mini pond. And yes, the saltwater mini ponds are making a comeback. Now I haven't been out here in quite some time. I have not shown the mini ponds in quite some time, including this one right here. It's been a while and you guys have been waiting for the day when I bring back the ponds. Now it is finally time to bring back the ponds and we have a lot to talk about when it comes to these outdoor saltwater mini ponds. It's been a long time, especially the fan favorite one, the 300 gallon circle pond you guys absolutely love this pond but we have had to move some fish around due to all the craziness happening at the house that you guys know about i had to get rid of all my fish because of the construction in the garage i had two ponds in there originally that are now completely gone i have nothing in the garage except the big giant saltwater pond that we are setting up on the main channel now we have to talk about this pond right here this is the one that you guys all know and love so before we unbox the fish to add to that pond over there this pond right here is getting a complete redo. We are going to be redoing this pond finally. You guys have been waiting forever to get this back up and running and we're it's about time we kickstart it and get it up and running but that means moving some fish including the sharks completely around. When it comes to the sharks the horn shark and the epaulette shark I know in the beginning I talked about wanting to keep these guys that's why I originally uh, moved them out here but all this work being done in the house took way too long it took so long. So those two guys are getting completely rehomed those two sharks I know we love them but I want to give them the best home possible and right now I don't have that big pond I was hoping to get in the garage. Now, when it comes to the garage, this used to be my fish warehouse. I had two ponds right here. As you can see, we're still in the middle of setting up the big pond, so it's kind of uh, messy on this side. Plus, I just redid the floors, so it's a little messy over here, but this is where my ponds used to be. I originally had the two black ponds right here. Then I eventually upgraded to the uh, big blue one, but that one did not last long. I thought it was going to be able to stay, but the construction did not allow it. So now that everything's finally done and the whole thing is finished, we can now add ponds back to the garage. Now, originally I was just gonna set up the blue pond and put the sharks and the emperor snapper and everything back in that pond, but we want this place to look absolutely pristine. And I think the only way to do that is to get the best, most high quality products for you guys, for your viewing experience. You guys wanna see the coolest ponds possible. You don't wanna see, you know, a random blue pond here. You wanna see some cool stuff. So in order to get that cool stuff, there's a waiting list. It takes time to manufacture and make the custom built ponds for uh, the garage. So because of that, the fish like the sharks, I'm not gonna keep in a smaller pond that they're not used to for that much longer while we wait on the giant custom built pond that I'm gonna be getting similar to fish Fish Guy Jacks, the uh, fiberglass one, similar to the big pond we have here, the big fiberglass one that's really high quality and looks great. That's the one that we want, but that takes a lot of time to actually make. So that is the reason for the moves around. Once again, it's it's a crazy world. You never know when life's gonna throw you a curveball and all this stuff happens. So we're just still getting back into the settling mode. We gotta settle everything down, get everything set back up the way we want it to. So that is the plan for the garage. We are gonna be getting a really, really nice, big, hearty, giant saltwater pond in that garage for the channel. So I hope you guys are excited about that. I'm not sure if I wanna get a rectangle one or a circle one for sharks and stingrays. I think I'm leaning more towards the circle one for the sharks and stingrays, but we gotta see I'm about to place, click the buy button on that one. But as you know, these things take time because they're all custom made. Now it has been a long time since we have done this pond on the channel. And you guys wanna see it back. We're getting the saltwater ponds back. That's the whole point of this. We are getting the outdoor mini ponds back in action because you guys absolutely love these ponds. So we have to get them back to where they were. And this pond right here, I actually just added some more rock to it, as you can notice. Uh, way before, months ago, I had just these rocks. And now I added the, uh, the the four on top, the two white ones, and then another shelf there, just for some more caves to the fish, because they love their caves. Now we're gonna be adding a lot of fish to this pond today, because I actually took these guys out, took some of them out to redo the rock structure. And these were two of them including the Mora eel because he is like so mean. Look, he's biting the net. He's so mean, he's so mean. So we gotta get this guy back in the pond, back to where he belongs. All right, buddy, slither on out. Slither on out, you weirdo. There he goes, there he goes. Go on, go back to the rocks. Okay, he's gonna swim around for a second. Right, let's get this guy back in there. This guy is super cool. This is a soapy grouper. He's really, really cool. Really love this fish, he eats like a beast. Let's get him back in as well. So cool, I love that fish. Such a cool fish. Go swim, swim by the rocks. You just got some new caves. Get in there, buddy. Now in this pond right here, we still have our clown grouper and our lionfish. I'm gonna be putting these guys in the pond as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the lionfish just like the sharks, but the clown grouper is definitely staying. He's a beast, you guys love him. And uh, we're gonna have to completely, all this uh, moving around of ponds, all this construction, I didn't even know it was coming. So all this, this, this curve ball that life threw at me, it happens and we got to uh, rebuild, start from the ground up and keep going. So let's go ahead and get the clown grouper out. And then this pond is completely 
completely reset and in our next couple videos we can actually redo this entire pond again for the 90th time but this time there's nothing uh, in our way that i'm gonna have to redo it again because man moving the fish around that was stressful but i'm glad it's all over and we're, we're starting from ground zero now we got our clown grouper <laughs> this guy's feisty we got our clown grouper out he's such a beast i love this fish he is so dang cool you guys gotta check him out you guys don't get to see him too often out of the water and he has definitely put on some size he's a absolute savage this guy's a beast look at this fish that has got to be one of the coolest fish that i possibly own i've never seen one just like him at the store i've never seen another clown grouper he is so dang cool so awesome i love that fish so we're gonna be moving him to the other saltwater pond so we can set this one back up all right buddy in you go be nice be nice in you go there you go buddy enjoy your new pond get in there and go hide in those rocks what an absolute beast that is such a cool fish now the lionfish is such a slow fish it's much easier to catch this guy than it is the clown grouper i had to move all the rocks around for the clown grouper but this lionfish oh well, maybe he is pretty fast maybe they are pretty fast all right i may have spoke too soon this guy was actually wicked fast look at the freaking colors on that guy you do not want to get too close to this one because he is very venomous and it will hurt if i get pricked by that guy so let's go ahead and get this guy in the pond as well even though i'm not going to be uh not sure if i'm going to be keeping him there he goes right back to the right behind those rocks not sure if i'm going to be keeping that lionfish because uh yeah we probably might keep him but who knows i'll see how he does in this pond and we'll go from there but now that we put our fish back into this pond, we gotta unbox some of the strangest, creepiest fish that I finally got for this pond. It's gonna blow your mind because these fish are so weird. Now I went ahead and put these guys in two separate buckets just so I can get them acclimating and get them used to this water. And they are the weirdest fish I've ever seen. I mean, when I saw these guys, I was like, I have to get these guys for the channel. I have to show my viewers these fish because we've never gotten them on the channel before. And I love, I love fish that we've never gotten on the channel before. It's so cool showing you guys new things because I didn't even know that this guy even existed. And I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna show you him first. He is literally an angler fish hybrid is what it looks like from the top he's got feet that walks around i cannot wait to show you guys this fish but when i saw this guy i didn't even know he was a real fish i thought it was some crazy genetically modified weird looking species that was created in a lab so let's start with fish number one this fish right here is a walking bat fish this is one of the weirdest fish i've personally ever seen when i first saw this guy at the store i thought this guy was a frog i literally thought he was a frog in a saltwater tank i was so confused as to what this guy was doing this is actually a walking bat fish i'm not not sure if it has any relation to the OG batfish, the one with the big long fans. I'll roll some clips of uh, what a real batfish looks like. Big long fins and, and looks huge. Those are batfish. This is a walking batfish. So maybe you guys can tell me in the comments if they're related in any way. But this guy, he kind of has a big winged like chest, like a big vest. So kind of maybe it is related to the batfish that they're very like wide and skinny, but very big. So this guy has a huge chest back area, a small skinny tail, and he has these two little paddles and feet that he walks along the bottom of the floor with and it is so cool he loves sand that's why there's some sand in this bucket and there's plenty of sand in my tank that he's gonna be walking on so this guy is one of the weirdest fish i've ever seen he's got a really cool pattern he's got some black and some browns on there and on the top of him is a little bit of orange and i do notice that the og batfish the big one that i was talking about before with the fins they are black and orange so maybe these guys are related but this fish right here is literally so weird i was like my viewers are gonna love this the fish guy chris army is going to love this fish it is so cool so apparently he eats small shrimp and uh, he'll eat dead apparently he'll eat dead and he does like having some small shrimp so that's good we can always go catch him some small shrimp and throw him throw him in here even some small fish he'll eat but he's actually relatively quick he does swim around pretty fast once you pick him up he's kind of uh he's kind of chill he's kind of docile so i like that and when i actually first got this guy i was like is this guy venomous is he poisonous or something completely fine totally chill looking fish he looks scary he looks scary as all hell i'm telling you guys right now this is a weird fish but man, is he cool. So let's go ahead and get this creepy looking dude in the pond. As you can see, he, he, and let me just tell you how he feels. He feels like a rock. He feels like rock solid. So here he is. Let's check him out in the sunlight. Look at how weird that fish is. That's got to be one of the weirdest fish in the entire world. Absolutely insane. So let's get this guy in the pond. Look how weird he is, dude. We got a name for this guy. So make sure to go down in the comments and drop a name for this dude because he is a wicked, wicked fish. Look at that guy. He, oh, he's swimming at the top of the water. 
So these guys like to walk on the bottom of the sand. So hopefully he chills, goes down to the bottom and relaxes down in that sand. There's plenty of sand in here for him. So hopefully he'll be fine in here. But there is our walking batfish officially in the pond, baby. Let's go. So you can see he's got some pretty good size in there. The pond, as you know, I just redid all the rocks. So it might be a little cloudy, but that's fine. But for now, this guy looks like he's perched up, ready to go. I think I'm going to do a big netting video soon. And we're going to net a bunch of shrimp or maybe some little minnows for this guy to absolutely crush. I got to see this guy eat on camera i had to get this guys for you guys you guys love seeing the creepy weird stuff and boy is this guy creepy and weird that is literally i've never even heard of this fish before before i saw him and i was like i need to get this for you guys because you guys love seeing this stuff so we got the weird looking batfish in the pond and we need a name for him so drop it down below now before we get into our next fish for the pond remember the new fish guy drop is going to be live march 1st on the friday so make sure you go check out shopfishguy.com get yourself the new drop this is the absolutely cleanest camo shirt with the fish guy logo on it so if you want to rock it catch those bass stay hidden get yourself the epic fish guy camo shirt i'm also rocking the camo hat there's a couple other things that we are dropping as well so make sure you get them before they go shopfishguy.com march 1st is the drop Creepy fish number one has officially been added to the pond. He's a weirdo. So that guy, I mean, honestly, he literally looks like a frog. That is so freaking weird. So he's in the pond. Now, number two, you guys are gonna love another fish I haven't gotten before, but they are so cool and so weird. This guy right here is a saltwater flounder. He is so cool yet. He's actually got like a little orange tint to him. Got a lot of really cool patterns on him. And those two things on the top of uh, the fish right there, those two little balls, those are his eyes. His, he, this is a completely flat fish who lays completely flat. So usually fish swims like, this with two eyes on each side this guy's flat with two eyes on the top of his head such a weird fish so two fish today that i've never ever had before i've never had a saltwater flounder and these guys get really big so it's gonna be really cool if we can feed him get him going okay fish guy hack behind the camera has just said that their eyes actually migrate across their body not sure if it's true someone fact check and let me know down in the comments because that would be pretty wild it seems like that might be the case but that eyes might move backwards as they get bigger but let me know in the comments if that is true migration eyes let's get this guy I scooped up so you guys can get a better look at him he's super quick actually like and he swims really cool so the reason i want to show you guys this one really close and out of the water is because flounders love sand just like the batfish the walking batfish flounders bury completely in the sand which is crazy and this guy's got feist look at him such a cool fish dude those two things right there are his eyeballs and his, his little gill is right underneath the eye coming around this whole area here so he's got his his gills his eyes everything he needs and then the back of him completely flat on the back of him there which is just crazy absolutely nuts so there's the back of the flounder there's the front of the flounder let's go ahead and get this guy in the pond see where he's gonna kick off to he's gonna love the sand guys he's gonna absolutely bury i wouldn't be surprised if he buries immediately there he goes so sick there he goes in the pond let's see if he's gonna bury in the sand oh we missed him he's in, he's gone oh no he's in the corner <laughs> he's in the corner so he may bury completely in the sand or he might just chill on top of it but you know the flounders they like to kick their fins and get really really in that sand so they can be like a sneak attack predator what do they call those guys? A, uh, a predator of surprise. I I'm blanking on the name, but that's what they are. They like to hide in the sand. Once a little fish swims by them, boom, absolutely smokes them, sucks them on up, and those flounders can eat and thrive. And they get very big. So those two right there have got to be the weirdest and coolest fish we ever bought. We bought some weird stuff before, including our frogfish that we have that you guys absolutely love. He's in the tank doing very well. We're going to catch him some food too uh, in the next coming weeks. But these guys, they might be weirder than a frogfish anglerfish. They might look weirder than a frogfish. They might not eat like one, like an absolute savage that we got in there, but these guys definitely are strange and you guys love the strange fish. So we're getting the ponds back up and running. This pond is the first one. This is kind of like our predatory-ish kind of pond. So that's what we got going on for this pond. And then now officially, I'm so excited to restart the saltwater mini pond for you guys. You guys have been really wanting that. We've had to do a lot of moving around with fish, emperor snapper, sharks and everything. And finally, we're getting everything back in order. Once we get our custom built pond in the garage, it's gonna be way better. These things just take time and it's just better for the fish in general the way we're doing it now so we got the new saltwater pond coming back in action stay tuned for that build video that's coming cannot wait to start adding fish in there and then we still have moves to do because it's a giant mess going on right now so hopefully we can get everything settled up restart and get our fish back in tip-top shape these are really cool fish cannot wait to give you guys more updates on them hopefully feed them in the next video and that's gonna be absolutely awesome so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one peace